He has eight Grammy Awards, has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and is considered a living legend. He is one of the greatest blues singers and guitarists of all time. I'm talking about Buddy Guy. He has influenced such musical greats as Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. But now at 82, Buddy has a new song in his heart and it's very personal. In 2008, his youngest brother, Phil, who was also a musician, died from prostate cancer. So Buddy Guy has made it his mission to spread the word about the disease. Now Pfizer Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, met up with Buddy and his daughter, Carlise, at his Chicago Blues Club, Legends, to learn more. Take a look. Well, I have to tell you, I am so honored to be in a place of legend with a legendary man. Well, thank you for coming here. Uh, welcome, Carlise. Thank you thank so you. much for joining us. I want to get started talking about um, you. Yeah, I didn't ever think I would be good enough to be a professional musician, and I, I learned a lot from him. Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, the greatest blues players that I ever met. Now, you mentioned your brother Phil. Tell me about his music and how you all started to work together. First of all, he was left-handed, and he taught himself how to play, but he played it right-handed like me. Let's talk a little bit about his journey with prostate cancer. We would not tell if we were ill and bad enough for somebody to know so we could see something early enough. My uncle Phil didn't reveal to us what his issues were from a health standpoint. And I walked in the hospital and he looked at me and said, I don't want to worry you. Yeah. I remember um, the look on my dad's face when they told him, um, we'll give him like 10 days. and. Um, he shortly thereafter died. You've really taken the terrible situation of your brother's uh, death and turned it into such a powerful uh, mission. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what is PCA Blue. Our goal is to bring awareness in what my dad is trying to do to just get him to get checked out. I mention it to people, get yourself checked, period. You could just say one thing to people. What would that be? Don't wait too late. Get yourself checked for prostate. I love it. Well, please welcome Pfizer's Chief Medical Officer, our really good friend, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall. Thank, thank you for you, being thank here you. again. Now, Dr. Frieda, Buddy's goal to educate men about prostate cancer is so important. So tell us more about this disease. Prostate cancer occurs in the prostate, which is a reproductive gland in men. About one in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in his lifetime. And prostate cancer is the second most common cause of cancer death in American men. Prostate cancer, in most cases, occurs as men age. So the average age of diagnosis is 66. Wow. So age is a risk factor. So what are some of the other risk factors associated with it, not just age? So family history is, is an important risk factor. Right. Um, the risk <clears throat> for developing prostate cancer doubles. If you have one first degree relative, that would be a father or brother, mm -hmm. that's affected. Now race is also a risk factor for for reasons that are still unknown, African-American men have higher incidence rates of prostate cancer than any other racial or ethnic group and are more likely to die from it. If you have one of these risk factors or others, you should talk to your doctor about what screenings are right for you. In early stages, and even as the cancer progresses, prostate cancer is really asymptomatic. It just doesn't have any symptoms, right? So at what age, should men start having these prostate exams? So the American Cancer Society suggests that men have the conversation with their doctor about screenings at about the age of 50. Okay. Now for those with high risk, age 45. Okay, when symptoms do appear, what should men look for? Some symptoms to look out for include uh, problems with urination flow and frequency, or pain and burning sensations when you urinate. Right. Also, blood in urine, or semen, right. painful ejaculation, right. and hip, 
back or pelvic pain right. that doesn't get better. Now, some of these things can be symptoms of other things like infection or an enlarged prostate due to aging, but it's important if you notice any of these things to talk to your doctor as soon as possible. Right. Some men are going to face anxiety, uh, depression, difficulty in changes in their sex life and accepting all of that. So they may be reluctant to take medications, seek treatment, and accept the treatment. So I, I really encourage men, just man to man, to go have this checked. I get it checked on a regular basis, and I encourage everybody else to do it. Early diagnosis is critical. And if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, um, work with your healthcare team to monitor your progression, but also to seek out support because that's so very important. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com for more information on prostate cancer. Yeah. And we've also put some exclusive uh, excerpts there from my interviews with Buddy Guy. Oh, yeah. Which were really special. Yeah. And you know, I always say, Robin and I love this gethealthystayhealthy.com. I highly recommend it. So, all right, well, we're out of time. I want to thank all of my guests today, especially Buddy Guy and his daughter Carlise and Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall.